triangle law. Suppose three vectors p bar, q bar, r bar are acting at a point O and such that p bar plus q bar plus r bar is equal to 0. If three vectors p bar, q bar, r bar acting at a point O and their sum is 0, p bar plus q bar plus r bar is equal to 0, then these three vectors can be represented by the sides of a triangle taken in an order. These three vectors can be represented by the sides of a triangle taken in an order. Let us see how to represent them. Now let us take P bar by AB. P bar is represented by both in magnitude and direction by the vector AB. And Q bar is represented by both in magnitude and direction by BC. And R bar is represented by both in magnitude and direction by CA. Then these three, ve three vectors A, B, B, C, C, A they constitute a triangle. They complete a triangle A, B, C. So when three vectors acting at a point are such that their vector sum is 0 then they can be represented by the sides of a triangle taken in an order. Here see after P, Q is taken, after Q, R is taken. That is how we take the vectors in a particular order. Another way of representing triangle law. If we draw parallel vectors to P bar, Q bar and R bar. If you draw parallel vectors parallel to P bar, Q bar and R bar and thereby the triangle ABC is formed. The triangle ABC is formed and small p, small q, small r are the sides, the sides of AB, BC, CA. Small p is the side length AB, small q is the side length BC and small r is the length of the side CA. If that is the case then p bar by small p is equal to q bar by small q is equal to r bar by small r. p bar by small p is equal to q bar by small q is equal to r bar by small r.